Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Is battery on a police officer a felony? Let's dive into the details to understand this better. Battery on a police officer is treated differently depending on the state you're in, but it's generally considered a serious offense. In California, for example, battery on a police officer is not always a felony. It can be charged as a misdemeanor under California Penal Code 243B and 243C. If there are no injuries, it's punishable by up to one year in county jail and a fine of up to $2,000. However, if the officer is injured, it can be charged as a felony, leading to up to three years in state prison and a $10,000 fine. In Florida, the situation is different. Here, battery on a law enforcement officer is classified as a third-degree felony. This means it can result in up to five years in prison or five years of probation, along with a $5,000 fine. To be convicted, the state must prove that the defendant intentionally touched or struck the officer, knew the victim was a law enforcement officer, and that the officer was engaged in the lawful performance of their duties 3-5. In general, across many states, the severity of the penalty often depends on whether the officer was injured and the circumstances of the incident. If the battery results in serious injury or involves other aggravating factors, such as the use of a weapon, the penalties can be even more severe. So to answer the question, yes, battery on a police officer can be a felony, especially if the officer is injured or if the incident involves other serious factors. However, the specific charges and penalties vary by state and the details of the case. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.